Not many people know that Wednesdays in France are different than anywhere else. Many primary school kids, like our girls, don't have school. Yes, that means they only go to school for four days a week. And it's up to us parents to find something to do with them. Good morning. Our day starts with making breakfast. That might come as a surprise, but that's how it is at the Chateau. And it's not always me. As a matter of fact, most of the time it's Anna. But because we're filming today, I wanted to look like that wonderful husband that Anna always hoped I would be. I think I make porridge. I, I never used to eat that. I learned it from Anna's dad. I think it's an English thing or a Scottish thing or something. The kids don't like it, Anna likes it a little bit, but it's healthy, so I impose it on them. I also learned that from Anna's dad. But that's what you do as a parent. You tell kids to do things they wouldn't do by themselves because it doesn't deliver an immediate gratification, but things that are good long term. No, 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 we're not rock climbing in slippers. Yeah, she's got trainers on. She's got trainers on. Ella? Ella, come on, off you come. Come on, girls, it's breakfast time. Lily, now you're all dirty. Look at you. You've got dance in a sec. It's a special day today because the kids are not at school on Wednesday. In France, there's no school on Wednesdays. So they do a lot of activities. And you, Anna, you take care of them a lot. I'm a taxi driver, going from dance to dance and then to horse riding and then to dance. It's who wants some kiwi in the porridge? In the porridge? Do you want it like this? Let me know if it's still good because they're quite old. They're yummy but something weird in it but yummy. Oh, you can have it then. Thank you. If it's weird. What's wrong? Oh, that is alright, that's not. Oh, no, 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 no. Do you want more granola? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing with poor Papa? First run of the day, taking Lily to jazz class in Enflap. Second run of the day, Ella, Ziggy, I've got to go pick up Lily from her jazz class, take Ella to her jazz class and then take Ziggy for a little walk on the beach. Lily, strap yourself in, pick Lily up, dropped Ella off, now time to head to the beach. And I've got binoculars. <sighs> off he goes. Come on. Good job. So we just came down to the beach in Enfleur for a little walk. Ziggy absolutely loves the water. He is gonna go for a swim for sure. And me and Lily are doing a bit of litter picking whilst we are on the beach. Oh no, what's that, Lily? Zig Zig! So on Wednesdays there is a market in Enfleur, so I've just picked up Ella and we're just going to have a quick trip to the market and pick up some food for lunch. Is he here? Six. 
Thanks. Do you want a muffin for later for your gute? Yeah, I'll that. Okay, uh, what about you, Ella? What do you want? You don't want one? Ah, oui, on va prendre deux financiers alors, s'il vous plaît. Okay. Fruit. I think they are doing galettes over there. Would you like one? Yeah, for lunch? Please. Okay. Maybe you'll get us some quiche. Euh, je pense qu'on va prendre aussi deux kunaman. Euh, ouais. Ça c'est c'est ça. <rire> Qu'est-ce que tu dis Ella Merci beaucoup. Merci. Bonne journée. Are you happy with uh, our shopping? Can you please yeah. stop? No, Ella, take the she, she can take the upper one. <rire> Come on Ella. Two weeks, two weeks ago, I shaved my balls and it was one of the most successful. Two weeks ago, I showed you how to trim your bush. It's important to keep your balls in good shape. That sound doesn't, sound, doesn't sound right. Two weeks ago, I worked on these shapes here. And because it was successful and you enjoyed it, I'm going to work on these two. A lot of people, when I showed you how I shaved them, a lot of people commented after me putting these plants into this shape, said, why don't you use an electric trimmer? I don't know what it is called. They use the right word, of course, but I don't know. I don't have an electric shaver for ball. I don't have an electric trimmer for this kind of plant shapes, but I do have a petrol driven one, but it might be a bit violent. You don't wanna, it's not really meant for that. I should buy an electric one, a small one. They, they sell them in the local. I haven't used that for ages. tomatoes. This is a traditional galette which is like a savoury crepe basically and the stand which we bought it at was actually from Brittany so it's our rival region because Normandy is also famous for crepes and galette. Apparently she explained to me that the difference is just in the mixture. Apparently it's much thicker in Normandy and also they have a tendency to add alcohol to their savory crepes like Calvados or I thought I've had obviously a Calvados dessert crepe but I would never have imagined to add cider or Calvados into the batter. So in this one I've got egg and ham and cheese and the girls have gone for ham and egg. So the thing that makes this a savory galette and not a crepe is the flour that they use because they use a flour called serrasin which is buckwheat and apparently it's gluten-free 
because so it's not a flower. It's not a flower, yeah. It's a leaf plant, actually. Is it? Yeah, I just read it in Google. Okay, <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, so for dessert, Lily, what are we having? A kunaman. A kunaman, that is a special dessert from Brittany, not from Normandy. And what's this, Ella? I don't know. This one is a financier. I had to change again into normal clothes because a guy was here. He went to our master suite bedroom and looked at the floors. He's a specialist floor renovator. He's a friend of Maxime, so I've never worked with him, but I trust him. Maxime, our painter, he works really well. I'm sure he is a very good artisan as well. And the funny thing is he gave us a quote and the quote is cheaper, quite a lot cheaper than the sum of all the things we need to do when we do it ourselves. So the rental of the machine, all the products, the time, the help of Benoit. That shows that sometimes hiring an expert, hiring somebody who's super specialized, who does this every day can even save you money and certainly does a better job than when we do it. And that doesn't only apply to DIY. Let's say, I don't know, let's say you have to redo your homepage or create a homepage. I would definitely work with Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to create a stunning online presence, which also happens to be this week's ad. Web pages created with Squarespace always look good and are easy to navigate because I'm very specialist in professional people design templates that you can adapt according to your needs and style. This is an easy process, but if you still feel you would benefit from help doing this, you can go to Squarespace Marketplace and hire a Squarespace expert. They built this site for you to achieve a beautiful and effective result. So if you would like to see how easy it is to finally create your beautiful, efficient homepage, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash how to renovate a chateau to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And because I'm on a roll, I'm also going to cut back these roses. It might be a bit late in the year, but that's how it is. And, and they are, they're happy, they will be happy. They're easy roses, beginner friendly roses. One more shaving thing I want to do today, and that's this hedge here. If you follow this channel for many years, you've seen me doing this maybe two and a half, three years ago. It's time to do it again. So, Ziggy is back in the bath, aren't you, huh? Because he went and rolled in some cow poop. So it's bath time, Ziggs. Hmm? You alright, Ziggs? You don't look really happy, but you did 
You did roll in the cow poop, huh? What do you have to say? Are you sorry for rolling in the cow poop? Somebody's happy. So, I must say I'm quite tired, but there's one more topiary trimming, shaving, however you want to call it, thing to do for me. And that's this beautiful Lonicera. We planted this to be ground covering and it turned out to be very ground covering, maybe a little bit too ground covering, but I think it's easy to cut, it's easy to put in shape and, and I like it, but it needs to be trimmed. And what I want to achieve, and I will probably not succeed, is that was the idea of the landscape designer, to make something a bit in a wavy shape, like in a controlled wavy shape, controlled chaos. I don't know what you think. It looks like a massacre. That's how it looks before it gets better again. I just thought I could blow the offcuts away and then they would magically disappear. That doesn't work. Okay, nothing what we did today was particularly transformative. I apologize for that. But it shows you that, I don't know what it shows you. It shows you that we have a big garden and I enjoy doing it. That's why we have a shuttle. Wednesdays are always quite full on and a little bit tiring. When I first learned that children only go to school four days a week in France, I was a little bit worried because I was used to working five days, if not sometimes six days, even seven days a week occasionally. The idea of only being able to work four days a week and trying to get work done in those days was a little bit worrying. But in the last few years, I've realized that it's not all about work and the girls are gonna grow up really fast and before I know it, they're gonna be teenagers and they won't even want to spend time with me. I just know that when I look back in the future, I don't think that I will ever regret this time that I'm getting to spend with them. And one more thing, our candles are back in stock. It's a small batch, we don't know if it will produce more in the future, so if you want to experience the two amazing scents we developed with the Parisian perfumer Nathalie Feistauer exclusively for our Chateau candles, you should order your candles now. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful week, and see you next time.